Hi, I'm Karen Hansen with Viking Life Saving Equipment, and I'm here today to introduce you to the Rescue Life Raft. The Viking Rescue Life Raft is our traditional offshore life raft. It's available in four, six, or eight persons. You can have it packed either in a valise or in a fiberglass container that you can mount on deck. The fluorescent yellow canopy can be seen at greater distances. It's much more visible in the blue sea and against fog. The raft has a large opening, allowing you to have easy access to the life raft from your vessel. You're also able to be helicopter hoisted from inside the life raft without having to get out and get in the water. The raft also has two easy zip zippers that zip from the bottom up, which will allow you to increase your freeboard if you're in heavy seas while still allowing airflow through the life raft. The raft has an additional opening in the back so that you're able to see 360 degrees around the life raft to see for rescuers. It also provides you with cross ventilation. Your life raft will be equipped with either an aluminum foil floor or an inflatable double floor for protection from hypothermia. There's solace grade retro reflective tape on the canopy, the tubes, and the bottom of the life raft. The water collector on the back of the canopy collects additional drinking water. When it rains, the water sheds down the back of the canopy and collects into the little port at the bottom. You can open the drain at the very bottom and then collect the drinking water in the plastic bags that are provided. You don't want to drink the first couple of bags full because they will contain salt water, so you dispose of those and then gather your water after that. The raft is equipped with two lights, the interior light and exterior light. They are both U.S. Coast Guard Solus approved. The lights will come on when the life raft is deployed. There's a pin in the base of the life raft battery pack. When the canopy goes up, it pulls the pin out of the life raft and the light comes on. To turn the light off, all you would do is replace the pin into the battery pack and you can save the battery power during daylight hours. The lights will operate eight to 10 hours. The raft has an inflatable boarding ramp with a weighted stepladder attached to it. This makes for easy access into the raft from the water. There's a grab handle as well as an additional ladder on the inside of the life raft to help you pull yourself into the raft. The first person inside the raft would release this ladder and throw it overboard for additional crew to enter. In addition, there are lifelines around the external part of the life raft as well as the internal part to hold on to in heavy seas. It has pressure relief valves in the upper and lower tubes to expel the excess air from the CO2 inflation. The pressure relief valves maintain a constant working pressure on both tubes. The raft is built to solar standards. It has two independent tubes. If you were to get a hole in one of the tubes, the other tube will support the weight of the people in the life raft independently. It has four separate chambers. There's a one-way valve in the base of the boarding ramp as well as the arch tube. If you were to get a hole in the upper tube, the lower tube will support the weight of the people and the arch tube stays inflated. If you put a hole in the boarding ramp, the lower tube does not go down. Beneath the life raft, you'll find four large ballast bags. They have large openings around the top so that they flood quickly, along with weights in them which aid in sinking the bags into the water. Each bag will hold 16 gallons of water or 60 liters. This is going to create 650 pounds of ballast or 300 kilos. The life raft is equipped with a sea anchor with 100 feet of line or 30 meters, two paddles, a buoyant knife, and a rescue coit. The paddles are used to paddle yourself away should your vessel be on fire or if you are in a field of debris. The rescue coit is used if someone in your crew does not make it to the life raft. Rather than you getting out of the life raft, you would throw the rescue coit to them and pull them to the life raft. The sea anchor is equipped with 100 feet or 30 meters of line. You'll find your sea anchor on the top of the equipment pack. The sea anchor should be deployed once you are free of any debris or away from the boat should it be on fire. Viking does not automatically deploy their sea anchors, enabling you to paddle away from the boat as quickly as possible. There's a buoyant knife just to the right of the opening of the canopy to cut yourself away should your boat be on fire or sinking. If the boat is not on fire or sinking, stay tethered to the boat because the bigger you are, the easier you are to find. All rescue life rafts will be packed with an emergency equipment pack. 
Contents will depend on regulation or model. Emergency equipment packs are packed within every Viking life raft to meet relevant local regulations or requirements. Limited additional emergency equipment may be added to your life raft at purchase or packed in a Viking waterproof grab bag. The Viking Rescue Life Raft is available either in a soft valise or a hard fiberglass container. The most important thing you want to consider is where you will be able to stow it. It's most important that you are able to access your life raft within 60 seconds, and that's more for fire than sinking. Let's take a look at the options. Here we have the Viking valise. It's in a water-resistant black nylon case. You can stow it either flat or you may stow it on its end. If you stow it on its end, always remember to keep the painter line up so that when removing it from the locker, you do not snag your painter line on the way out. We also have the ability for you to put your raft in a hard, low profile, high gloss container. If you choose this configuration, you have the option of either having your raft mounted on a rail, like you see it here, or you can have it mounted on the deck horizontally. If you choose to mount the raft horizontally, you can either release it manually or you can have it released manually with the optional hydrostatic release, which will automatically deploy it should your boat sink and you are not able to get to it. When deploying your life rafts, you want to grab the red line coming out of the one end of the valise, tie it off to a strong point on board your boat, preferably a cleat. There's going to be 30 feet of line inside the bag or 10 meters. You want to pull until you get to the end of the line. This takes a while. When you get to the end of the line, you want to give it a swift tug. Once your life raft is deployed, pick up the same red line that you secured to the deck of the boat, pull the life raft over to you, jump into the life raft, try to stay dry, do not cut yourself away unless the boat is on fire or sinking. If it is, there's a knife right inside the opening that will allow you to do this. The Viking Rescue Life Raft is for rescue beyond 24 hours. It has a recommended service interval of every three years. Please, for additional information, contact us at vikingyachting.com. Thank you.